Welcome to the level 1 to 40 leveling guide for Shop Titans. Originally, when I had recorded all of these clips over a period of time, I thought that I was going to be releasing them in videos for level 1 to 15, 15 to 25, 25 to 35, etc. But I've decided to put them all into one place so that you can find them easily and uh, be able to get all the information for the early levels of this game. So if I say anything that doesn't line up with the way that I've actually released this, that's why. Uh, but hopefully you learn lots and enjoy. And uh, let's get into it. I have started a new account. So this is the new account. Uh, it is robbed mods instead of rob mods, which I thought was hilarious. It was from a comment uh, that was voted on. And so this is our new account. We've played just over three hours on this account uh, earlier today, actually. And so I thought it would be a good time for me to talk through kind of what we did and what it took to get from level one to level 15. I was able to get my second shop expand once going through uh, the first little tutorial here. And so in that, basically, I put one of each bin out when I was able to unlock uh, each of those workers. And then I pretty much just focused on these. So I was able to get everything to level two within the first uh, couple hours, probably. And then this third expansion unlocked at level 15. So I just got it and it is upgrading. It's in the process of upgrading anyways. So one of the biggest benefits and how I was able to make 1 million in my first three hours was that market is crazy. <laughs> so it's because there's so many high level players who want really low level um items so that they can sell it in their shop and surcharge they're willing to pay up to 10 times um what the item's worth so let's say these training bow here i've been crafting these like crazy see there's no gold offer here so i can go 3300 put those in the market and probably very soon i'll have 3300 times 15. and so it's not so much uh, especially in these first levels, it really has nothing to do with how much money you can sell in your shop. Because if you surcharge something or you discount something or you sell it normally, you get the same amount of experience. So you surcharging something in your shop doesn't actually allow you to level up any faster. So selling things in the market isn't a detriment to you. In fact, you're going to be making 10 times more money than you would be in your shop. Oh, there we go. See what I mean? Very quickly. So there's 15K and these will sell really quickly. There's another 30K. And so you, you have to understand that when I have these items in my shop, I'm not trying to surcharge them. What I'm trying to do is use every energy that I get to basically speed up my crafts because I want to keep these uh, resources as low as I possibly can so that I'm crafting through items really quickly. And the point is get through mastering tier one as quickly as possible. You can make a ton of items really, really quickly. Like just use that, speed up the item, speed up the item and then basically all you're going to do is small talk and discount that item so then you have enough energy to speed up another one there's another item mastered you can put that away like that and then i'll just find another one that uses stone and then basically just keep rolling like that and so when i discount and sell that item i'm still getting full experience for this item but i'm just trying to get as much energy out of this as I can so I can speed crafts and get through the game as quickly as possible. So that's how in three hours I was able to make a million gold and get to level 15. Because of how the mechanic works with the small talk, small talk gives you up to 10% of your total energy, but if it fails then you lose energy. So this 30, I'm going to want to spend that 30 like as soon as possible and then small talk and discount my next one. So that's how you're going to maximize your energy. Pretty much every item that I've tried so far is going to sell for 10 times value in market. Like every tier one, tier two that I've tried. So here's another example. I've got 11 of these. There's no gold offers out. I put it up for 26 and then the, that's going to sell and make me 25 or 30 K within a minute or two, maybe. And then you're able to make money really quickly. And so money is not going to be your issue. Gold is not going to be your issue. It's going to be speed. Um, so just speeding up items as quickly as you can. And as you get levels, obviously you're going to have the gold to put down more racks. You're going to have gold to upgrade all of your stuff. You're going to have gold to do like when my next crafting slot, uh, is available. Hold on. When my next crafting slot's available, level 20, 30,000 gold is nothing. Like at this stage in the game, gold should never be your bottleneck. Gold should be easy to come by. And the only thing that's really going to slow you down is speed of levels and speed of crafting. 
Uh, we got our third shop expansion out. We only have one of each bin out at the moment and two chests and all the rest has been going into energy. The majority of my stuff is now level six, level six counter, level six chests, and level five of my bins. And then the majority of my uh, racks and tables and things are level six as well. I think these are probably going to be a lot higher than the average level 25, simply because I've had a lot of time in between streams that I've just been doing upgrades throughout the week. And so usually it's going to take a lot longer than this to get things up. So most likely people at level 25 are not going to have 600 energy for the record. Uh, in terms of crafting, I'm not needing any more resources than this. I've just got 80 of each. And then when we go over here to crafting, um, I've mastered pretty much all of the tier ones that are here. And then uh, we've been working on tiers two and tier three, just unlocked uh, rings and necklaces at level 25 as well. And so uh, one of the things that we've been really focusing on is these alloy loops. So this has been my main money maker. Basically when you ascend it twice, it takes a lot less resources and there's a big multi-craft chance. And so with only four uh, stone or four iron, you can craft these and sell them on the market for 10 to 15,000 each and they sell really, really quickly. So this is how I basically made 4 million is that if I just craft these constantly and sell them in the market, then I'm able to make really good money and then that'll pay for my upgrades and pay for everything else that I need to be doing. So if we go over here to the market, I put these in maybe like a couple of minutes ago and there's already 100k. If we look at my heroes and champions, most of them are getting close to level 11, level 8, level 9. And so these ones are able to do these harder quests. Um, if I have a third person there, I'm usually able to do the harder quests, which means I can get a lot of components fairly quickly, which is really nice. A couple things in terms of like shop management and stuff. See these five items, they're all enchanted. So when you add these enchants, these are just the tier four enchantments. They increase the the experience value that I'm getting from, from these items. So normally when I sell these items, I'm getting, let's say a thousand experience. If I add these enchants that I'm normally getting around 3000 experience, so it increases it a lot. So that'll allow you to get up experience a lot faster. So that's why I actually have this blocked off is because all these items that I have in the back are just tier one items. They're just normal tier one items that are just um, taking up space because the more items that you have out, the more customers are going to come in quickly. So if these are all full of tier one items, but the customers that are coming in can't reach them, they're not going to choose these items, but they're just taking up space so that more customers come in quickly. And then in these, I'm putting all the items that are my, my highest tier item with my enchantment. So these are my big experience items. So that way I'm able to level up a lot faster. And because I'm making a lot of money from market from making alloy loops, I'm able to buy these enchantments. And even if I'm losing a little bit of money on it, I'm not too worried about it because making money right now is so easy and so fast that I can spend my money basically on just leveling up faster. So at this point, you obviously don't have to do the same thing. You don't have to block off your shop. It, it doesn't matter too much. I'm just trying to optimize things and level up as quickly as possible. When I do this, you can like see my experience bar go up when I'm selling these 218,000 by small talk and I sell that. 240,000. So I'm getting 22,000 experience. So in order to get to the next level, I only need to sell 10 items and I'm getting to the next level. Like it's extremely quickly just because of how I'm, I'm choosing to level up my, my character. So if you go into market here, you can search enchantments. That's this one down on the bottom, click it. You can go, well, you can only search the one tier right now. So it doesn't really matter. Go normal so that you're just putting it on normal items. And there you go. So a lot of these, if you, say buy this and put it on an item worth 12,000 and then you surcharge it so that doubles the value, you're getting 24,000 out of it. So this is also a way that you can make free money. But as you saw, I wasn't surcharging them because that takes so much energy. And actually, um, when I have a lot of energy, so I have 115 now and I'm crafting, let's say alley loops for money, I'm using that energy to speed up that item and be crafting more. So I don't mind that I'm actually losing the 26,000 here because I'm making more money by crafting and I wanna be keeping my resources down and mastering items, crafting more items and just getting farther in the game. And so whether I surcharge this item or just normally sell this item, 
it doesn't actually matter. Uh, I get the same amount of experience for that. So that's why I'm okay with just small talking, selling normally, not worrying about trying to get to the 160 because that's going to slow me down a lot. And then just using the extra energy that I'm making from that to make another alley loop. So at this point in the game, um, I think I'm going to be working on just mastering tier twos, getting the research scrolls from mastering those, uh, making money with alley loops when I, when I need it, when I have time, working on my upgrades. When I hit level 30, you get your fourth shop expansion, which means you'll have more room for either more energy or more bins and things like that. Uh, Heroes is not a huge deal at this point in time. They all have like green, normal, blue, or tier four stuff. Some of these have broken now, but just like green, blue, tier fours, these pieces have maybe cost me like 20K each or something like that. Not huge amounts, but they're able to do everything that I need them to do. Uh, and so far, so good. In case you're wondering how I actually enchant items, because I guess I didn't uh, explain that very well, and if you're newer to the game, you might not might not understand that yet. So if you go into your inventory, here is all of the items that you have. So um, as I said, I have a lot of tier ones that are just taking up space, so that's for a reason. And then I have my higher tier uh, XP items over here. So if you go into, go into the enchant menu right beside and you've got your enchantments here, if you click on it and press use, all the items that you can use on that are going to come up. So I don't have any big like tier four items that are high XP value items that I'm looking to do that with right now. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if you click on that item and then you can press en enchant, it adds value to the item, adds XP to the item. And then... Um, Essentially, you're, you're going to be able to level up faster by selling that item. So that's basically how that works. Um, this one took about six more hours on stream to get from level 25 to 35 uh, and quite a bit of time actually off stream just crafting items and selling them in market. Uh, I just finished mastering all the tier two items in the game. So all of those are now uh, completely mastered. They're all gold. And most of those I was able to sell in market for 10 times value. So that's how I've been making money is just crafting items uh, when they finish going to market, selling them for 10 times value pretty much right away. Uh, and it's a pretty easy way still to be making money. And so how I've been leveling so fast is basically going to the market. So if I go to the highest tier, I buy items. So they're getting me more experience. And then I'm enchanting those with tier four enchants. Uh, I'm getting a huge XP value like this is a tier five item with two enchants. I'm getting a large XP value for this, but obviously I'm losing a lot of money because I'm not even surcharging. I'm just selling using the extra energy to speed up crafts and continuing to uh, craft things as quick as I can. Um, so that's basically all I've been doing, just trying to get as much experience as possible and as much energy as possible to rush everything forward as quick as I can, selling things in market for gold and using that gold to get myself experience quickly. Uh, in terms of my shop layout, I believe it was level 30 that I was able to get this last expand. Or maybe it was 32, I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, so I got this last, this fourth expansion and I decided to keep uh, just one of each bin there, level six, and it gives me more than enough total resources to craft what I need to craft. Right now I'm just doing tier threes and tier fours and it gives me more than enough. I've got three chests here just so I have lots of room for items and lots of room for components and everything else has been going towards furniture. I've been upgrading these for three weeks now, kind of in the background, um, even when I'm not playing. So just because I mainly only play this on stream, so it probably looks a little bit different, but I've got some level sevens, I've got some level sixes, lots of level sixes, and some lower ones as well at level three and uh, a couple level fours back here as well. In terms of heroes, um, I haven't unlocked the, the next two hero slots, but uh, these are the ones that I have. Lowest one's level 11, highest one is level 14. They all just have like green gear, blue gear. Uh, if I could find some cheaper, better gear, but no enchants, nothing major, and they're able to do everything that they need to. One thing to keep in mind is that your town isn't going to look like this. I, I'm just very fortunate because lots of people watch the stream and they invited me to their guild and stuff but obviously uh for the most part players at this level are going to have a lot lower buildings so you're going to have uh lower level workers and uh, slower uh regen rates as i look forward uh past level 35 i realize that at level 40 there's another shop expand which i can show you here so there's another shop expansion uh, and it's going to cost me 10 million as well there's a crafting slot at level 40 for 2 million as well, my next two character slots are available, which are one and four million. 
Uh, I believe that there's another market slot pretty soon here as well. We can check that at level 40 for two and a half million. So there's just a lot of things that are going to be costing a lot of gold. And it doesn't make sense for me to keep spending so much gold to be getting experience as quickly as I am. If I'm going to get to level 40 really fast within maybe a few hours or whatever, but have no gold to actually unlock anything. And so I think honestly, your best bet is just to rush from 25 to 35 as quick as you can buy higher tier items and chant them. Just get your XP there, sell uh, all of your items if you can in market. But I think from this point on, from level 35 on, it makes a lot of sense to kind of switch that strategy up and start saving gold and aim for 20 to 25 million when you hit level 40, which shouldn't take a, a whole lot of time to do. At this point in time, uh, just gonna be mastering tier threes, selling things normally in my shop, um, crafting as quickly as I can, selling things in market. Uh, probably gonna sell through all the things that I have in my inventory right now that have all the enchants on them like these. And then once those are through, I'll probably just be selling some more normal items and attempting to save money for the next one. Oh, baby, we did it. We did it. Big grind. Level 40. We hit it. Okay. Um, market tier, new craft slot, new hero slot, new trade slot, new expansion, new holy. So like pretty much everything. All right, cool. So I think that actually just unlocked the first ever basement expansion. Basement. There we go. Expand free. There we go. Nice. Design expand we'll finish off our plus sign 10 million gold additional crafting slot i think so that's two million gold market slot two and a half million gold quest slot two and a half million gold hero slot is one million recruit wallace and two and a half million recruit and five million recruit there we go. So I just spent like 25 mil for all the level 40 upgrades. Let's go. So let's finish this last expansion and then uh, I'll show you basically what I would recommend for bins going forward and then the games begin. I forgot to mention that the next pet slot is available as well now. So this is 5 million gold. I believe it was available a little bit earlier than level 40. Uh, but you can also get that for another 5 million gold. Well, here we are. We have reached the end of the road. Level 40. We got our expansion and I've moved some things around. And we got one of each bin, which is what I would recommend at this point in time. So you can start crafting tier 5s and a couple of the tier 4s need the tier 2s as well. But I don't think you need any more than this many bins to start out with especially because energy is so important so that you can be speeding up your crafts as much as possible and surcharging items. So this is the setup that I would recommend. Finally hit the thousand energy. And from this point forward, it's pretty much just master items, move, move up, upgrade things as you go. Try to focus on energy as much as you possibly can going forward. Make sure you take advantage of enchantments so that you can make extra money and extra experience. And otherwise, this should give you a really good foundation for your gameplay going forward. Of course, if you have any questions or need anything that I can help with, I'm more than happy. Please feel free to reach out on Discord or comment here and I'll do my best to get back to you. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Peace out.